Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Danny Jessup here, and I'm excited to carry on with another episode of the Consult ROI podcast. Uh, Cameron is on the road in his body coverage areas today, so I'm rolling solo here, and I hope you'll join in with me. I want to pick up on a continuation of our conversation from last week when we're thinking of end of year, end of year specials. You know, recently it was Black Friday and everybody kind of going nuts with that and then Cyber Monday and then Travel Tuesday and all these different themes and stuff, right? So I, I love the idea of like what Simon Sinek says, where you can sell to people who believe what you believe and are driven by a cause. And so all these things like this time of year and stuff like that, regardless of whenever the, the time of year is that you're listening to this, but all these themes are things that are times that people can rally and be driven by a cause, right? And so you want to have that defined perfect customer or that defined specific types of people in your network that you have there. So you're living life by design to get the most ROI out of business and life. And like, what does that look like for you? And so there's a, a couple ideas that I want to kind of further develop and, and continue on here are as you think about that, you know, what does everybody do at the beginning of any year? They run out and get a gym membership. They've got these big, giant, grandiose goals and stuff like that. And by the end of January, oftentimes, the gym parking lot is faded. <laughs> There's plenty of parking spaces and stuff. And people have already fallen back into their old ways and they haven't carried through with their goals. Now, as a certified facilitator for a professional sales process called Integrity Selling that's put on by the Integrity Solutions Group, they have four specific areas that they say that, um, that their research shows that there are four traits of successful salespeople. Now, I would also apply these four traits to successful individuals in life as well, because if you're just successful at sales, you're most likely going to be successful in other areas of your life too. And so I'd kind of peel the curtain back. And if um, you're thinking about that, kind of look that up of like what the four traits are. And I'll share them with you here and some high level thoughts and ideas around it. But the first one that starts off and kind of thinking about January, the first of the year and stuff like that, whenever, you know, January rolls around is everybody thinks about goals. They think about what I did or didn't accomplish last year and what can I do this year? And I'm ready to hit the ground running. We kind of get back to that selling people who believe it, what you believe in are driven by that cause. Like, what is that cause? What is that rallying cry for you in the work that you're doing or on yourself or in your business and your network and your community? What does that look like for you? And a lot of times it comes down to a big gap that a lot of people have is strong goal clarity. And that's what Integrity Solutions points out is strong goal clarity. And what does that look like for you in your life there? Um, and other resources I've looked up is that uh, for goal setting, it mentions that to set clear, achievable goals for both your personal and professional life and review your goals regularly as you make progress or don't make progress and then adjust accordingly uh, based on your circumstances and priority. And so tying that back to integrity solutions, like what does that look like for having strong goal clarity? As a matter of fact, in uh, issuing this kind of like a, a little bit of like a, a self test um, uh, to sales professionals over the years and stuff, strong goal clarity is often uh, one of the major elements that they feel that they might have the biggest gap inside there. Cause it's like, Hey, go sell stuff. And you want more money, go make more commission, go sell more stuff. Right? So you can't just go sell more stuff. You've got to have goals and clarity around those goals of where is it that you want to go? What is it that you want to achieve and how you know when you'll, you'll, you'll arrive there. And how do you know when you are there? Right. So what what are some elements that you can put together in your life around strong goal, stronger goal clarity, stronger clarity around your goals? And what is that specifically? Do you speak that into existence? Like Ryan Stuman says from uh, Apex, uh, he often speak, uh, mentions that of speaking things into existence. I often find myself doing my daily gratitude and part of that daily gratitude or some of the wins that I had for that day is that. I kind of speak those into existence because I know that that's what's on my plan for the day. 
And that's what's on for my plan for the day. And I'm calling that a win. And I'll often put that down, kind of speaking that into existence, because I know that that's what I've got one of my goals or one of the tasks I've got to accomplish that day. And it's a win for me to engage in some of the things that I do in my life, whether it be with my family, uh, friends, coworkers, or whatnot. Those are some of the things that I've got on my list that day of calling them a win. And what are those wins? And, and part of that is, you know, having a clear, being clear on what I'm out to accomplish in that day. And am I always successful at it? Absolutely not. There's oftentimes I need to go do an after action review and relook at it and say, did I do that? Or I might need to go and kind of erase some of those things that didn't uh, I didn't accomplish there that I tried to speak into existence. So I'm trying to get clearer and clearer on those goals and then to put those into the, the existence there and, and work hard uh, at them and achieving that. So being clear on what it is you really want and what those goals are. Uh, another one that Integrity Solutions points out is high achievement drive for successful salespeople. They're, they they just got that. And that's uh, achievement drive, they mentioned, uh, can be a multiplier of the success that they're having in other areas or ways that they get there. And wouldn't that be nice if you had a multiplier of success in your life, in your business, or whatever that is that you're engaged in there. So what that achievement drive does is that um, it really kind of flushes out the level of desire you have to achieve those goals. Uh, you know, they say that uh, a goal not written down is only a wish. So do you have a bunch of wishes or do you have actual goals that you are working towards day in and day out, week in and week out, month in and month out? And then do you believe that you can do it? Do you believe that you are working on becoming the, the best version of yourself? Is that something up there? And if you don't believe that you are that best, best version or you're working on that best version, you need to get clear on what that best version of you looks like so that you can then back yourself up and saying, I want to achieve these goals. That way, when you have the naysayers, the haters or whatever, and I see it everywhere. I, I see it everywhere with influencers and regular people trying to post motivational things and others are like crabs in a bucket and they're just trying to drag them down. So author Kim Perel talks about having a highlight reel. So having these highlight reels of things that you've been successful at, things that you know that you're successful at, so that when others try to come and pull you down, you can go back to that highlight reel and remind yourself that you have achieved certain levels of success. You can get there again, and you can also surpass those things. A mountain bike coach that I know, he always says that you're stronger than you think you are, and you can do more than you think you can. And so constantly reminding these kids that they can do that when we're mountain biking up mountains uh, all over Utah, things climbing, you know, a lot of elevation gain during a ride and uh, during a race and all that. You are stronger than you think you are and you can do more than you think you can. And so this high achievement drive really kind of goes into that in believing in yourself and putting putting yourself out there and then backing yourself up of being confident that that you know that you are validated and worthy of achieving that goal worthy to yourself uh, of what that is and then uh, another part that uh, that they talk about uh, from integrity solutions is healthy emotional intelligence there and um, when you kind of think about that of like have you ever done a personality profile i know that we've talked on those things uh, before on the, the consultant roi podcast here uh, what those personality uh, profiles look like for you and so if i'm looking at like the Clifton Strengths Finders, uh, for example, my top five are woo, positivity, strategic, communicator, and arranger. And as those might be my strongest personality traits, uh, I guess a lot of times they kind of come natural because I, I often don't notice them until someone says something afterward that I I did something that uh, that that was impactful and I can actually go back to kind of tracing that whether I was positive in a, a certain environment there or I was able to kind of gather people around and kind of getting that arranger and then helping them feel good about what they're doing that that wooing aspect of it um, and and as I do that like there might be some strategy behind that and then open communication to that as well I'm a big fan of communication something we try to teach uh, you know people that I work with my children, uh, I try to be a better communicator. Um, you know, nobody can read one another's minds. And so what are you doing to communicate? And I think all these different elements and aspects here really come into that emotional intelligence that you have there uh, overall. And uh, I do think that uh, Malcolm Gladwell writes on a lot of these types of things uh, as well, if you've read some of his books too. And what's interesting about that is that um, 
people that I've uh, I've gone and studied from in the past, they said that uh, you know some of the things that Malcolm Gladwell wrote about, he didn't invent the information. He wasn't original. Uh, it wasn't original information to him, but he told a better story around that. He was able to tell a story that was compelling in a way that people was able to understand the data and the information that he was trying to get across in a way that related to them. And so having that emotional, uh, healthy emotional intelligence is understanding how you are and then how uh, people are influenced by you and your behaviors there. And so as you continue on and like look, look to yourself of that, what work have you done on yourself? And then go back to that. Make that a highlight reel of some of these emotional intelligence that you might have so that you can know who you are inside and out. Uh, so that you can help and champion others the way that they need to from the vantage point that you have that no one else has. And then that ties into uh, the last uh, trait of success here that uh, Integrity Solutions talks about is having excellent social skills. So, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, as this article that I'm uh, looking at here references is it uh, mentions that a lot of times that people will say that, oh, you must be in sales. You've got the gift of gab or you have the gift of gab. So you would be great at sales. Well, guess what sales isn't talking the entire time, right? So <laughs> in fact, the uh, the CEO of Integrity Solutions uh, partnered with somebody and they're actually coming out with a new book in February that is called um, uh, basically surrounded by listening, the value of listening. Um, I think it's called Listen to Sell. And so just because you have that gift of gab doesn't mean that you're going to talk everybody into um you know, what is what it is that you're whatever it is that you're trying to sell or talk them into, right? There's no talking into in a true sales environment here. It's identifying identifying needs and wants people have and then helping them find solutions to those wants and needs that they have to overcome those challenges or problems and things like that that they're trying to solve in their lives. And you're only going to find out what that is by asking the right questions and listening to them. And these social skills are gonna help you to understand when you need to speak, when you need to listen, when you need to ask for more clarity on what it is that someone's trying to achieve. And again, this could be you know inward at the same time as well. Now, this is not a commercial for Integrity Solutions, but are, it is some of the things that, uh, that's been on my mind lately as we kind of celebrate the holidays and everybody gets amped up on the best deals and everything like that. But when the holidays aren't there, when you don't have those, uh, those reasons to be driven by that cause of Black Friday or Cyber Monday or any of those types of things, what are you doing to build that know, like, and trust factor with people in your network? So that they might not always need something like uh, your product or service all the time. If you're selling HVAC, they're not always going to need a furnace and an AC all the time. Uh, if you're selling roofs, they're not going to always need a roof all the time, right? But they might know somebody that does. They might also need that every once in a while or, or whatnot. They might not need it for another several years. But if you've built that know, like, and trust factor with somebody, it's someone that uh, they could connect with, they could relate with, someone that they you're going to um, be top of mind with them. You've earned that mind share from that individual uh, or those individuals. And so part of that is through your social skills and having a plan around of how you engage with those individuals. So I'd ask you, like, what are you what are you doing in your life every day to build that know, like, and trust factor? I look at social media a lot of times and uh, I look at, you know, when you really get down to it, people that understand this, they know that social media is more than just showing the fancy salad, you know, the, the high-end salad that you had at a fancy restaurant last night, right? Taking a picture of that and posting it. More than that is basically the type of lifestyle that you're bringing, the type of people that you're surrounded by, the people that you're influenced by, and the value that you're leading with uh, uh, online there and that social media. So the people that get it are building um, a brand around themselves when they when they do and they um, they execute and implement these types of things when it comes to social media there. And all this really kind of goes to whether it's face-to-face -face or online or whatnot, you've built that know, like, and trust factor. And then when you do have engagement with someone, 
you do know the levers to pull, meaning when to have that gift of gab, when you've earned the right to show that value, whether it's a demonstration or asking them additional questions or whatnot, instead of just throwing up on them and talking them into a sale and right back out of it. You probably think early in your sales career or individual lives so of when you've talked somebody out of something because you talked too much. You didn't, you didn't um, pause enough or allow them to identify some gaps that they had to help them feel like they're making a confident decision and moving forward because you might have talked a lot, way too much out of it. You've talked them out of that sale. You've talked yourself out of a sale or a deal or something like that. And so kind of think about these things as, as, as you move forward with not only, you know, through the holidays or the beginning of a year or anything like that, this can be done at any time of looking at what are the traits to success in your life, in your business that you have that make up who you are and the things that you're trying to accomplish. That's what I got for you guys here today from the Consult ROI podcast here. I'm sure Cameron will be back with us next time. If you got value in this, please leave thoughts, comments, and, uh, you know, whatnot down below. And let us know what this looks like in your world and the value that you've achieved from it. If there's topics or other episodes or individuals you'd like us to talk about or have on the show, don't hesitate to let us know as well. We'd love to uh, look into any of that stuff. Hey, thanks again. Appreciate you guys being here. Till next time, I'm Danny Jessup. Peace. <music>